What's up my babies? Today we're going to be playing in this really gorgeous curly lace wig. I received her from Diva's Wigs and she came super gorgeous but I decided to go ahead and make her even more gorgeous by bleaching the knots and I also added this little personality aka that little brown streak in the front and I'm going to share with you how I did it. So I started off with a 40 volume developer in my BW bleach. I went ahead and mixed it to a nice consistency. Now I've done this a million times and of course I did not make it thick enough but we'll talk about that in just a moment. This is the wig here. You have combs, you have adjustable straps. I went ahead and added an elastic band. It comes pre-plugged with baby hair and it is super gorgeous already. So if you don't feel confident with, you know, bleaching your knots, you still be able to slay this one without doing so. But of course, bleaching your knots is a great way to make the wig even more flawless. So against my better judgment, I went ahead and made my mixture. I realized it wasn't thick as I normally would do it, but of course, I was being lazy and I did not add more powder. If yours is this thin, it may appear thick, but just add another half to a quarter scoop to it to make it super thick because you don't want it to see through. Now, if you go ahead and you make it this thin, just be very, very, very careful not to press it in because what happens is when the consistency of your bleach is too thin, this is gonna run through the lace on the other side. As you guys can see there, if you can see the lace hanging out on the opposite side, like in the roots, that means those roots are gonna be bleached. So what I went ahead is I made lemons out of lemonade and I went ahead and took a streak in the front and made it the exact same color. I just applied that same mixture all the way down on that streak in the very front so that wherever you see um, hair that looks a little bit over bleach, it kind of made it blend, you know what I mean? Like it's not the way it's supposed to be by any means, but you know, it made it just look like it was supposed to be there. I almost forgot to mention, I left the entire bleaching process on for about 20 minutes I rinsed it out completely under lukewarm water I washed the hair one time with purple shampoo and then I conditioned with a deep conditioner everything I used is linked in the description bar also a detailed tutorial on how to bleach your knots properly is also linked in the description box for you guys to check out after you finish this video so after that, I just went ahead and cut off the excess lace. Be sure to go ahead and pluck and tweeze anything you want before pulling off the lace. It just makes it a lot easier to have that excess lace to see where you're plucking and tweezing and to make sure that you have exactly the outcome that you want. I don't know why, but it's just a little bit easier. Next, I'm going to go ahead and bond her down. I use spray. This is not a glue or a gel. It's literally a hairspray. And I just go ahead and add a layer. You can add two layers. Wait till it gets a little bit tacky, maybe 15 to 20 seconds later. And you apply your lace directly on top. I like to use the metal end of a rat tail comb and just kind of press it in and hold it. Because if the um, hairspray is still wet it's not gonna lay down kind of like your eyelashes when you put on falsies if the glue is still wet and you apply it to your eyelid it's just gonna slide around it's not gonna sit but once it sits and it sets and it's dry that suck is not moving for a couple hours now here we are just playing with it you want to make sure that the hair molds perfectly around your ear so that it's not loose but it's also you know not covering your ear or uncomfortable and wherever you find that there is too much lace or just wig in general around your ear cut it now don't cut the actual wig cap or make sure you're not cutting like essential parts but for, for the most part there should just be lace behind your ear you can cut it to fit the perfect um, shape of your ear so since this one was pre-plugged, I decided to just go ahead and, you know, keep what they had. I went ahead and pulled out the baby hair that they provided and I trimmed it down. The shorter you trim it, the more natural it looks in my opinion. A lot of times I like to keep it long just to preserve it. And I find that when I go like super duper duper like risque short, it's when it looks the best. So here on this side, how those hairs are long, that to me is considered pretty long. And I did go back after the fact, or I would go back after the fact and make it even shorter. But for the sake of the style I was going for, it actually worked out perfect. Now as you guys can see, the sideburns are not sticking even though I added that spray. Everything but the sideburns is sticking at this moment and that's just because my, side, my sideburns never stick with just spray, especially if I have hair there. I've been through this a million times with you guys but I'll continue to say, um, you have to either shave your eyebrows or eyebrows, please don't shave your eyebrows. You have to shave your sideburns if you want this guy to be glued to work for your sideburns. 
Otherwise, I would use something stronger like Ghost Bond or Bold Hold. Maybe this week I'll show you exactly how I do it in real time. I do a combination of the free spray around my hairline and then for my sideburns, I use the Ghost Bond and it doesn't rip them out. It doesn't damage them at all the way I do it and, you know, I'm actually able to still take it off often. And in the front, I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't want it too thick around the center. I think when you have a lot of hair or a lot of sideburns around the sides, to balance it out, do it a little less in the front center and it looks really good. Like to me, that looks really, 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 really good. And I did not leave the bleach on too long just because I knew it ran through. So you will see some knots somewhere. I kind of semi-bleached the knots. That way it kind of made it look a lot better in the front. But if you part through, it definitely is not completely bleached. The cool thing is that this one was only about um, 3 inches of parting space, I want to say. It was less parting than you would normally get, especially on the sides, as you can see there. So if you really part it through there, you will see that that part needs to be redone. But because I wasn't really showing off the parting too much, um, I was able to add powder and just get through it. And it looked amazing. I more so wanted the hairline to be um, bleached because that was the part of the wig that I was showing off the most. Now, if you're going to do a top knot or a high bun, please be sure to part around to make sure that there's a lace covering all of those tracks. I used a little bit of foam motion, foam motion, foam lotion, um, and just a brush to kind of slick the hair up top. But you guys can see um, the ponytail kind of sits a little bit far forward because there wasn't a lot of parting space to kind of pull it back or to, you know, part out more hair. So um, it looks really cute. Make sure that it's your hair is not lifting in the front. And this is what it looks like in a bun. Really cute, but I think I decided to just go with it down. I almost forgot to mention for styling, I did not add any product. I did deep condition the wig in the sink with my silicone mix, so it really did not need any product. I just went ahead and wet it down a little bit before I started, and by the time I got to this point, it had dried, and I really liked the texture it had. Okay, so I put it into a pony, but I just wasn't feeling it. It's a nice full wig. I guess it feels more full because it's short, but it's 150, but it's 150 percent density. It feels like 180 or 200, and I think it's just because the curls are so full and vibrant. Well, they're not being a whole lot of party space. I kind of felt like um, I wasn't living my best life. I felt like I wasn't living my best life with this little streak I did. Now the streak was impromptu. I kind of wanted to do something different and have a little bit of fun and so I decided let me just shrink it I've been obsessed with color you guys know I've been obsessed with color super heavy lately so that was kind of just one of my ways to put in my signature brown that I've been loving like this last month or two again it's 150 percent density they did give me a little cue card so I know what's going on and they did note that it's up to seven working days for 150 percent density so I did go the petite cap which fits super snug and perfect the hairline as you guys see was super pre-plucked and I absolutely loved it I didn't pluck or tweeze anything you can go in like sideways with the tweezers and just kind of like tweeze space tweeze space tweeze space and go all around like I've taught you guys to kind of break that up so it's not so boxy and that would help it look even more flawless but if you don't this still looks amazing in my opinion um, and then yeah, like I said before, it's a natural black color and everything was good with this one. I didn't have any complaints. I do like that they give you a brush with your purchase and it does have their logo on it. You guys have seen me work with this company a million times and so you guys know I have like a collection of these brushes. You also get a dust bag with your wig that way you have a safe way to store your bag. Um, while you're starting to get home or your luggage or whatever. They gave these netted wig caps, which I never ever use. And then of course they came in the nice white um, and gold packaging that they always use. I don't think I showed this in the beginning of the video. Um, I jumped right into the tutorial. So hopefully you guys liked this install. I think this is a great, 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 great bob. Adding that little streak to your hair does give it a little bit of personality without committing. Because ultimately you have your little streak and it's subtle and modest, but it still brings a nice little, you know, vibe to your look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Don't forget to check out Diva Wigs. All the information on this wig is linked in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.